King Charles is uh, to present Royal Victorian Order honours to around 150 Royal Naval personnel, uh, all taking part during the late Queen Elizabeth II's funeral processions. His Majesty to recognise more than 100 naval ratings who drew the state gun carriage bearing the Queen's coffin uh, during the state funeral back on the 19th of September. Uh, yes, it's that long ago now. Well, joining us, our Royal uh, Correspondent, Cameron Walker, who can join us uh, in Windsor. And uh, Cameron, of course, we were talking at the time about the uh, absolute vital role that these naval ratings um, had in the funeral uh, procession, bearing in mind the, the difficulties going back to Queen Victoria's day when they just tried the horses to uh, take the gun carriage up that hill. Absolutely, Mark. And I think today was really the king saying a personal thank you to these 150 or so Royal Naval uh, sailors and ratings who took part in the Queen's funeral procession on the 19th of September. Of course, over 100 of them, Naval ratings, very, very junior sailors, and they had this enormous task of pulling the state's gun carriage, bringing the coffin of Queen Elizabeth II, as you said, dating back to Queen Victoria's funeral in 1901, where they were a very quick replacement for uh, horses due to the poor weather conditions and a British order of knighthood which was instituted by Queen Victoria is called the Royal Victorian Order and that is the honour which the King bestowed to 150 or so uh, Royal Naval personnel uh, today and it's all of course for Queen Elizabeth II's uh, funeral procession and, and the work that they did uh, during that time but it's about personal service to the sovereign and personal service to the monarch and it's at the sole discretion of King Charles III as to who becomes a member of the Royal Victorian order. So I think that gives you a sense of just how important King Charles um, thought of their work during the Queen's funeral procession and, of course, the whole Operation London Bridge with the ceremonial processions which happened during the period of Her, Maj Her Late Majesty's uh, death. Yeah. So it happens at Windsor Castle in the uh, quadrangle, of course, uh, and the King was accompanied by the first Sea Lord, um, who obviously entered the quadrangle with His Majesty the King. But I think this shows you just how important this is to the king and how personable perhaps this is to him because he uh, personally gave the medal to every single one of the 150 or so Royal Naval ratings and personnel who attended Windsor Castle today. So I think that just gives you a sense just to how important it is uh, yeah. and, and his thanks uh, for the dignity they showed during the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II. And perhaps a poignant moment too for the king reflecting and... and, and you know, thinking back to those days in September. Can, can you hear Mark, me, Mark, I have to apologise. I've completely lost your, your... I've completely lost communications with you, so I'm not quite sure what you said there. Try again. OK, I'll, I'll try one more time just to say it, it may well have been a very yeah, poignant moment for King Charles, of course, reflecting and thinking back to those days in, in September. Absolutely, it certainly was. It was certainly a historical occasion. It was close to 6,000 um, armed service personnel who took part from the Royal Navy, uh, Royal Air Force and British Army as well. And of course, King Charles himself, along with his siblings and, and uh, his son, Prince William, marched in that procession, the two miles or so uh, around central London for the Queen's funeral procession behind uh, the coffin, of course. So it's something which I think perhaps is going to stay in his memory forever. But of course, a personal touch from him and a personal thanks to 150 of those uh, sailors today. Cameron at Windsor, thank you very much indeed uh, joining us. Of course, there's people enjoying that half-term sunshine there and uh, visiting the castle too. Thank you very much indeed.